Now I can see, now this is just me, and I'll probably get some pushback for this, but whatever. Welcome to the Teacher Rockstar Podcast, the podcast that's dedicated to providing valuable insights, practical tips, and proven strategies to equip new teachers for success. I'm your host, Steve Hiles, educator, published author, and instructional coach. Join me in each episode as we offer a supportive platform for navigating the challenges of the teaching profession. In today's episode, we're going to be discussing the truth about student social promotions. Now, by the end of this episode, you'll have a clear understanding of the complexities of social promoting students. Today, we're going to be exploring the debate. And believe me, there is a big debate surrounding student promotions uh, in kindergarten through grade school. Now, the idea of promotion, which involves moving students up the next grade level, academic performance has sparked dis discussions among educators, parents, and policymakers. The pros of social promotion, I'm going to kind of outline those for you here. Supporters argue that social promotion is crucial for maintaining a student's self-esteem and social development. Holding students back could potentially lead to outcomes such as increased dropout rates and emotional struggles. The belief is that repeating a grade may label students as failures, causing them to disengage from school altogether. By promoting them, even if they haven't met standards, schools can provide support and interventions in the grades, okay, in the specific grade to help them catch up without facing detrimental effects on their social and emotional well-being that retention may in fact bring, okay? Furthermore, advocates stress that social promotion enables students to stay with their peers, uh, you know, with respect to their age, which is vital for social growth. Peer relationships play a role in a child's life by influencing their behavior, you know, their behavior drive and overall happiness. Disrupting these relationships by holding a student back could impact their skills and mental well-being. The financial strain of retaining students in a grade is substantial. Schools often need to allocate funds for teaching hours which can put a strain on their tight budgets. Are you a teacher who finds yourself drowning in the challenges of classroom management? Do student behaviors leave you feeling overwhelmed and drained at the end of each day? Picture this, a classroom where your students are not just present, but fully engaged, focused, and eager to learn. Say goodbye to classroom management stress and hello to success. The Teacher Rockstar Academy course is meticulously designed to equip you with the tools and strategies needed to skyrocket your effectiveness as a teacher. Curious to know if the Teacher Rockstar Academy course is the missing piece in your teaching journey? If you're ready to reclaim control of your classroom and witness the incredible impact on your students, then use the link in the podcast description to learn more about this program. Now, I want to go ahead and turn our uh, attention to the cons of social promotion, okay? You know, on the other side of the coin, critics of social promotion argue that it may ultimately harm students by pushing them through without the necessary skills and knowledge. They believe that promoting students undermines the credibility of the education system and, in fact, lowers standards. This approach can lead uh, to a cascade of challenges as students struggle to keep up with coursework in higher grades. According to them, social promotion merely postpones addressing weaknesses, potentially resulting in difficulties and increased dropout rates later on. Critics also highlight that social promotion sends a message about the value of work and academic achievement. You know, if, if, if students know that they're going to be promoted regardless of their performance, they might lack the motivation to strive for excellence. And this, in fact, could uh, cultivate a sense of indifference where academic uh, efforts go unrecognized, leaving students unprepared for the challenges in education or the workforce. Now, furthermore, there are concerns that social promotion could dis disproportionately affect groups of students. Uh, though those from uh, low income backgrounds or with learning disabilities may have uh, chances uh, you know of being promoted due to existing inequalities and inadequate support systems 
dealing with the underlying issues that contribute to their challenges, promoting students socially could perpetuate a cycle of underperformance and missed opportunities. I have to tell you that the conversation surrounding the promotion of students in K-12 education is complex. There's no doubt about it with arguments presented from, you know, from both perspectives. Advocates emphasize the importance of students' social and emotional well-being, peer relationships, and cost effectiveness, while critics stress the need for upholding standards that foster a culture of achievement and address disparities. As teachers, parents, and policymakers grapple with this issue, Finding an approach that supports students' holistic development academically, emotionally, is essential uh, to ensuring opportunities for all. In conclusion, I'm going to give you my take. You know, my thought is, is there no middle ground? You know, obviously, you don't want a 12-year-old child in a third grade, okay? But on the other hand, you don't want that 12-year-old child, uh, sixth or seventh grade, who can barely read at the third grade level. Now, I can see, now this is just me, and I'll probably get some pushback for this, but whatever. I can see retaining a child one time between kindergarten and fifth grade, providing that that child is assigned to a different teacher with a personalized plan that's going to um, address his or her challenges and, and ensuring that their, their personal education plan is appropriately addressed. Available, reliable research suggests that relying on either promotion or retention is not a one-size-fits-all solution, okay? Instead, an integrated approach that includes intervention, personalized support, and community involvement have, you know, has proven effective, to be effective, I, I should say, by addressing the causes and uh, of difficulties in providing assistance throughout the process, we can create pathways for all students to succeed. So, I, you know, I'm, I'm of this belief. You know, there is a middle ground here. I, I think we really need to take a look at that, you know, and I know it's a complex issue. There's no, no easy answer. But at any rate, my friend, we have come to the end of this episode, and I hope you kind of understand the, the pros and the cons of, of social promotions. Uh, but before we go, I, I want to ask you, are you ready to reclaim control of your classroom and witness the incredible impact on your students? Then learn more about how the Teacher Rockstar Academy can be of help. Simply go to the uh, website, teacherclassroomresources.com forward slash TRA um, to learn more about this program. All right. All right, so there you have it. I want to thank you for listening to the Teacher Rockstar Podcast. I'm your host, Steve Hiles, and we're going to see you same time, same place next week. And remember, my friend, you got this. You've been listening to the Teacher Rockstar Podcast with your host, Steve Hiles. We hope you've enjoyed this podcast as much as we have. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and join our ever-growing community of teacher rock stars. Until then, thanks for listening.